In Destiny 2, there are around hundreds to probably thousands of builds created by the player base that all serve different purposes. With so many builds to use and play with, you'll also see many best builds that stand out from the rest of the competitors. With Onslaught released, many of you will want to know what was the best builds to run in a new mode, especially for Legend for that sweet sweet loot. So today, I'm going to show you the 3 best builds that I have used and have carried me from Wave 1 all the way to Wave 50. It will cover Warlock, Hunter and Titan for Legend Onslaught and if you want to skip the chatter and go straight to the point, then the dim links for the build will be placed down below for all to access. It's quick, it's easy to upload and you can customise your liking. So let's make a start. Starting with the most popular build known to date for any hardcore activity you're playing, the Void Deadfall Tether setup using Orpheus Rigs allows players to capture large swarms of enemies in one go and easily refill around 50% of their super and abilities back over time. The sheer power and effect this has for GMs, dungeons, raids when you need a consistent source of ability energy and super is a lifesaver for all and having one person in your team with the following exotic will make completing most contents a lot more safer. The exotic trait of Orpheus called Uncanny Arrows provides ability energy for each terror target by Deadfall, which basically means while Deadfall is active, you will not only get back ability energy per kill made, but will also get 50% super energy on top of that as well. As mentioned before, the exotic will cap users at 50% super energy rewarded via your own super, but net more kills after that can easily be bypassed through this small feature. Now add on orbs of power created via your weapons and teammates and that one super you created will easily turn into 2, 3, 4, etc. To complement the build, I chose to have Galahorn as the second exotic on hand. The following will provide an ample boost to other rocket launcher users via his wolf pack rounds effect and it fits perfectly within the build and that's designed solely for taking out multiple enemies and bosses at once. Having Riptide with Chill Clip will be useful against the major threats and champions you will face. And then main primary will vary from players. Although, since my heavy is solar, I went with Zalo's Bane, Hand Cannon with Incandescent. Its unique origin trait called Runeth Over allows the weapon to overfill depending on how many players are in a team. So combine this with the Assemble perk, which improves handling of low speed of the given weapon, and you get a mini Sunshot on hand, which is pretty strong, I tell you. For what I was running, I had the Void Grenade for its long lasting damage. Ranching Step for going invisible when you dodge. Stylus Executioner, where anytime you finish a volatile, weak on a suppressed enemy, we get invis, which may sound dumb for the build, but it's very useful if we need to capture a key objective or revive teammates. Echo of Harvest, where defeating weakened targets creates orbs of power and void breach. Echo of Starvation, where picking up a void breach or orbs of power grants devour. Echo of Explosion, where Void Ability Finder Blows cause targets to explode, which pairs very well with Deadfall and our Grenade of Choice, and Echo Remnants for increasing our Void Grenade duration by 50%. Our next build is designed around ad clearing through the most simplest means, Solar Incandescent Explosions. It utilising both Dawn Chorus and Sunshot in hand allows players to take out numerous enemies from one explosion to another with thanks to its chain reaction like effect. And while this is all happening, you'll also be applying increased score to set targets, which overall allows more destruction from the other player's side and also garner ability energy for more overall usage of the melee grenades. To give you an idea as to what's happening, Dawn Chorus Rise for Ember as well as trait states that your Dawn Break, your Daybreak projectiles deal more damage and scorch targets on impact. Your Scorch is improved and you gain a small amount of melee energy when you scorch targets. Basically, our super will do 90% more damage and apply Scorch on Impact, which for something like Onslaught and Dino with the lanes, is actually quite powerful. The most important part to take note of is the increased Scorch damage applied. We will get a 200% Scorch damage increase, which means a simple melee against a minor enemy can cause them to easily ignite. Now, apply Ember of Ashes as well for that 50% increase, and any method that applies Scorch with will incinerate a vast amount of enemies in one go. The added bonus of getting a 5% melee energy back from Scorched enemies also means we have a great way of consistently applying debuffs on a moment's notice. Now pairing this with Sunshots makes the most sense for the build. 
The weapon shines best when paired with builds designed for maximizing ad clearing. And since it can now also scorch upon kills made, allows us an easy way to keep our abilities up and going and keep the flow of enemies down by a large margin. Play the safe, I then added the Deliverance Fusion Rifle with Chill Clip to the build to help with the champions and bosses, although Rip Tire is also a good alternative. And then having Apex Predator with Raw Pawn Reconstruction will be perfect when topping the build off against many bosses to bosses alike, although Heavy will always be a flexible area to work with. With that, I then chose to have Fusion Grenades for their quick cooldown and Scorch Damage they apply over time. Aspects, we have Touch of Flame where Fusion Grenades effects explode twice. Heat Rises where you can fire weapons, grenades and melee while gliding. You also get melee energy if you net a final blow while gliding. Fragments, Ember of Ashes where you apply more Scorch to targets. Ember of Searing where defeating Scorch targets grants melee energy and fire sprites. And both torches where powered me attacks against combatants make you and allies radiant. And Ember of Imperium, where solo weapons final blows extend the duration of restoration and radiant apply to you. Our last build is probably the best Titan build designed while controlling key objectives, while also dealing huge amount of knock-on damage to other targets nearby from stasis. Now I know many of you will say, well, Strand Titan is way more better for ad clearing and damage. And of course, yeah, to spend Titan is good. But Stasis Horfor Z is the killer combo that will allow us to do so much more when compared to Strand. Fast ability regen, instant freeze and slow, great use of being an obstacle, insane super control, max protection, what's more to love? Except for you might end up killing your teammates, but what's more to love? All of this will be linked back to just one exotic that already has a great range around it, that is the Horfor Z, with an exotic trait Glacial Fortification, which states, when using your stasis subclass, your barricades become a wall of stasis crystals that slows nearby targets when created. As simply, it will turn your barricades into stasis crystals, which means its functions will expand the heavily into our aspects and fragments. Whispers of Shards, for example, with the given exotic trait, means that we can speed up our glacial grenade usage from a few minutes to a few seconds instead, which for closing off lanes, means it's easier for area of denial. And the crazy thing about this is how much damage you can apply if you also include the seasonal mod named Pill of Ice, which creates more stasis glaciers on the hand, and then adding in the Held Storm, which further increases our shatter damage and releases additional damage over time. It's basically a build that will steadily increase its effectiveness the more glaciers are created. For weapons, I wanted to create AR with Headstone as this will allow us to create a ton more glaciers for us to use, but also because the weapon is practically amazingly used when it gets minor to major enemies. Compared to most other stasis weapons, this one alone is the most common legendary players will use when they solely need an effective range AR for specific stasis builds. At the same time, having a hacky weapon with its origin trait is also viable. After that, I then went with the Forbearance with Chain Reaction as a great shatter based weapon, an ideal for cleaning up. And then lastly we have the Salvation Grip, which I know might sound funny at first, but it will allow us to create an additional glacier upon charging it. This will be helpful in case you end up in a situation where you need that extra level of defense, and or just need more ability energy, or you just need a way to survive for longer. This weapon here, seriously, don't sleep on it. For what I ran with, I had glacier grenades for the ability to freeze enemies and block off key lanes. Then having Tectonic Harvest, where upon shattering stasis crystals, you create stasis shards. These shards grant melee energy. Howl of the Storm, where while sliding, activate your charged melee ability to launch a wave of stasis energy forward that freezes targets. Fragments, we had Whispers of Shards, where shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade energy. Whispers of Chains, where while you are near a frozen target, or glaciers, you take reduced damage. Whispers of Fissures, which increases the size and damage of our status crystals. And then the Whispers of Durance increases the slow applied to enemies. So there we have it. I hope you all enjoyed those three best builds that I recommend you give them a try out in Legend Onslaught mode or just Onslaught mode. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and a sub while here. I'll leave a dim link for the build below. And if you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. 
It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.